My name's Tamara Chambers, and this is Tamara Just Streamed. And tonight I streamed Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Someone gave me these ears at a convention years ago. I never had a use for them until now. And now they're my faux Sonic ears. <laughs> I had started my break of Tamara Just Saw when Sonic came out, and it really didn't interest me that much. I knew that there was all the controversy of how bad he looked and how silly it looked and blah, 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 blah around the movie. But I was a pretty impartial viewer, I will say. I think I maybe played a bit of two of the Sonic games. I can't even tell you which ones. I just know my brother had them growing up and so I played a bit of them. I don't know really anything about it. I know his little bud is Tails and I know that Jim Carrey is like the Eggman and uh, coins. I think that the first design was real and then them working really hard on trying to make that fans happy was also real. I don't think that that was like a marketing stunt. Like some people maybe thought, I think that was real. I think it's awesome that they tried to please the fans and I really think that the end result was adorable and so much more fun to watch than the scary teeth monster that we saw before. I also really found myself caring about Sonic in this movie while watching it. And I think that that has a lot to do with him being just super cute. I also love Ben Schwartz. Parks and Recreation is one of my favorite things in the entire world. And I just, I love him. This is him howling at the moon. The worst, the worst. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Okay, taking down my hair helps. I thought this movie was ultra adorable. Really phoning it in on just kind of the super generic plot and some of the writing I think was pretty weak. Some of it I thought was actually pretty funny. Not where I thought the comedy was gonna come from, but overall, I don't know, I think it was cute. I really ended up feeling for, for Sonic, and I really ended up feeling for Tom character, the James Marsden character, somehow. Really didn't think that that was gonna be the case, but I really, really dug that dynamic. I just wrote, who the fuck is this owl? <laughs> That owl is not from the fandom, right? I don't really know what is from the fandom or what's not. I think that I have a general vague idea, but that owl, Long Neck or whatever his name was, Long Thorn, Long Talon, what was his name? Her name, who was that owl? I was still on the fence about whether I was gonna like this film or not, and he then revealed that he loves Keanu Reeves, and I just wrote, that is the absolute universal regulator. Everyone loves Keanu. I'm the blue devil and you're the orange devil, little bud. There were a few scenes that I was like, oh, that was, I mean, that was cute. It was a little generic, I guess, but it was still pretty cute. Like the police officer and his wife, he applied for the job, he got the job. She pulls out a cake and it's the, he didn't make it cake. And then she's like, oops, sorry, wrong cake. And then pulls out the actual cake. And I thought, I mean, that was cute. I like that relationship dynamic. I think that that was adorable kind of helped us get to know them a little bit more in this otherwise kind of you're thrown in. In the same vein of being thrown into things, the Robotnik introduction scene was super bad. It was so like, well, he's just a crazy person and you know, he doesn't play by the rules, but of course we're gonna use him. Are you kidding? We're gonna use him. Yes, we're gonna use him. He's the only one that gets results, damn it. It's like, all right, wow. Oh, it was generic. The one part I thought that I was going to love, Jim Carrey, is, I don't know, I'm not getting it. A lot of dot, dot, dots in between some of those words. His mustache is kind of hot, though. Usually not into that, but he makes it work. His physical comedy in this was great, but until, I would say, the second half, he really had this, like, mean-spirited villain vibe going on, who wasn't saying anything funny, who was doing amazing things with his body, that's what she said, but who wasn't really written well for Jim Carrey, I don't think. He was just like mean villain versus like fun, playful villain with funny banter. And then the second half, it got a little bit more of that, which was kind of weird too. It just kind of all of a sudden clicked. If you know me at all, you know that I love Olive Garden, so I loved the Olive Garden shout out. Everything that happened to Sonic I did truly care about though. He dropped his rings and I was like, that's devastating. It's the only thing he had left from that weird owl character. No! If you like a thing, you should've put a ring on it. Whoa, 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 Again, I really thought that I was gonna love Jim Carrey in this, which I didn't dislike him. I just think that they 
wrote him super weird. And I liked James Marsden a lot, and I didn't think I was gonna like him. I thought he was just gonna be way too bland, way too generic, like this weird, like, buddy cop, just there just to kind of help move the story along character, which he was, and that's what it was, but better, it was more well done than I thought it was gonna be. It was handled better than it could have been for sure. One thing I don't get at all is that his wife in the film has a sister, and the sister does not trust James Marsden at all. And she's like blatantly in front of him, telling her to break up with him and divorce him. But he doesn't give us anything that would make her want to do that. Like he, he has a really nice job, he's really nice, they have beautiful like movie nights together, they're super supportive of each other. He worked two, three jobs when she was going through veterinary school. It doesn't make sense to me that the sister is so anti-James Marsden. That just doesn't make sense. And it's like, I think it's just supposed to be like a comedic aspect, but it just is rude. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Again, I just love when things happen to Sonic. He's checking things off of his bucket list and he gets those shoes from the mean sister's daughter. Adorable. I want to give him shoes. Sometimes I find in movies like this that are good enough, but they're not like, this isn't Shawshank Redemption, all right, everyone, we need to chill. <laughs> I find myself finding like an ending that I like good enough, honestly, and then it keeps going. So when he was on the tall tower in San Francisco and they made it and they got his rings back, I was like, cool, I think that we could end it here. If you wanted to continue the story on in another movie, yeah, sure, kick ass. Like, maybe he comes back, but send him off to Mushroomville for now, you know what I mean? Like, it just kind of felt like, all right, and we're done here, excellent. Oh no, there's still 40 minutes left of the movie? Okay, all, all right. I was not expecting that, but I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count funny Jim Carrey line. Also, the latte scene was really funny with Jim Carrey, where his little agent Stone comes in and is like, would you like a goat milk latte? He's like, do you think I'm an idiot? Of course I want a goat milk latte. I love how you make them. Funny, it was funny. I'm the donut lord, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I kind of cried at the high five. I did, I, I teared up just a little, a smidge of tears. <laughs> I'm such a sucker, I cried everything. But I liked this, it was cute. I even liked the part at the end with Jim Carrey, like really coming into his full form and setting up for a second Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I don't, I would watch it. This was a good movie, it was cute. Was it a little generic? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Could it have been shorter? Yes. Was the script a little, a little lackluster? In moments, totally. But I went into this full on expecting not to like it at all. And then, you know, I heard from all of my friends who saw it that oh, it was better than I thought. And like, even like Doug and Rob were like, you know, it's fine, it's okay. But I, <laughs> it was cute. It was a really cute movie. Sonic is adorable. Jim Carrey with that mustache can get it. If you like a thing, should put a ring on it. And then I loved Ika's Tales at the end. That was just the best. Great cameo, bud. Excellent cameo. Thank you so much for watching. I have been having a really fun time revisiting Tamara Just Saw with Tamara Just Streamed. Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. What should I watch next week? Preferably something with ears, obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye! If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Better, 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 better. Whoa, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh